Tyler, thank you very, very much, and uh, welcome to the best kept secret in uh, this part of uh, New Mexico. Uh, it uh, really is uh, a pleasure for me to officially announce uh, Doug Martin as the 34th head coach, football coach of New Mexico State University. Uh, Doug competed with a very strong shortlist of candidates and uh, interviewed extremely well. Um, Doug reminded me that under his leadership, we're not rebuilding, but we're riding the ship. Uh, Doug is very familiar with our program, student athletes, and the Las Cruces community. Um, Doug is also inheriting a football program with strong community support. And I'm certain that that, that that will enhance his efforts to build a program that will be consistently all out. Doug's contract will be a four-year contract with a salary around three hundred sixty-five thousand, and still being negotiated between the University General Counsel and his attorney. Uh, one of the things that I've often said about hiring an assistant coach is that you're never quite sure what they will be as a head coach. Well, in this case, in this case, Doug obviously uh, was a head coach of a mid-major program. He understands the challenges and the, the opportunities uh, that mid-majors present. And uh, I'm really, really confident uh, that Doug will bring a great deal of energy um, and will uh, guide this program uh, in a way that, uh, that we can all uh, reach our goals. Uh, it's been a frustrating time for us all, and we're really excited about your leadership uh, this week. Great deal of pleasure to announce Doug Martin as the new NMSU head football coach. Thank you very much. I uh, want to thank, first of all, Dr. Boston, the administration, and uh, the people that I've gotten to talk with. It's been a, it's actually been a great week for me. It's been been hectic, hanging on to recruiting and uh, interviewing for the job and things at the same time, but. It's also given me the opportunity to meet even more of the people of Las Cruces, the people that make this university such an outstanding place, uh, members of the Board of Regents, members of the Success Fund, and uh, all, all it's done is extur my, uh, instill my excitement even more for what's here and the possibilities that are here. Uh, I think this program has unlimited potential, and uh, you know what we've got to do is take the potential and make it a reality, and that's our first steps today. And as I told the players, uh, Every day is game day. That, that's the approach we're going to take. We're going to compete in the classroom. We're going to compete, compete on the field. Uh, we're going to compete in the community. We're going to be reaching out to the people here at Las Cruces. And uh, what, what my goal is, is for the people of Las Cruces to own this football team, to take ownership of it. And uh, the only way they can do that is if we extend that opportunity to them. So that, that's my goal number one. Uh, looking forward to a great signing class this week. We've the assistant coaches are all here, have done a great job recruiting and, and hanging on during the interim uh, to a wonderful class. And we actually added to that this past weekend and, and look forward to a great announcement Wednesday. And uh, my next goal is to obviously set the staff in place. We have some vacancies to fill and we'll be working with that. Dr. Boston, James Hall have been great at uh, helping us get that process going. But uh, really excited about being here. My family's excited about being here. My, Wife hasn't made it yet. She'll be in here at 11.30 today, but my daughter flew in and surprised me for my birthday, so that was a great deal. And uh, I really look forward to this opportunity and uh, really excited about taking this program to the next level. Questions? Coach, happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, what's the first thing you want to tackle as the head coach at MSU? Well, I think the first thing is to get our, our players with the mindset that we want. Uh, that you know we're going to compete every day, especially in the classroom uh, and in the community. And the field will take care of itself once we get there. But um, we, we've got to get that everything going in the same direction. You know, I want, want to meet with people in academics. I want to meet with uh, SID people, the equipment people, trainers. And we've all got to be a family in this field. We've got to get this all going together. Uh, the only way it's going to work is we, if we can all do this together. Uh, so that's my first goal: is to get everybody moving in the same direction. 